During his killing spree, Smith, aka Jigger, avoided prosecution like no other accused criminal in New Orleans. Prosecutors and police tied him to violent crimes, locked him up, and prepared a case only for it to fall apart at the last minute. I remember when we first got the news that Soldier Slim was killed. I was living on Dale Street in New Orleans East, matter of fact, the 4900 block of Dale. When we got the news, it happened a day before. A matter of fact, he was killed a day after my birthday. So to be exact, about two, three in the morning, on the 27th, the next day when we got the news, because we outside all day by this, back then, you know, I was doing my thing and we was outside all the time. It wasn't internet, it wasn't stuff like that going on for you two. And if it was, it wasn't a big deal. Not to street dudes, you know, for the internet. So when we got the news, we was like, what? What happened? Who? This and that. And that's when the rumors started surfacing. And that's when Jigger name came up. Then after that, you started hearing a lot of other rumors about Jigger. But before we get into the Soldier Slim story, let's get into Jigger. Jarrell Smith. Because once I did my research, I said, oh man, this cat was, he was notorious. In 2007, Smith was locked up for the murder of 24-year-old Mandel Duplessis, who was an up-and-coming rapper relocated to Atlanta due to Hurricane Katrina. He rapped about returning home constantly. But after returning home, months later, Duplessis was dead. He was found fatally shot October 4th on the steps of a trailer in the neighborhood of Gentilly. Jigger was also jailed that year in the killing of Terry Brock. Again, no witness, no case. It was alleged he killed another inspiring rapper named Spencer Funk Smith Jr. But every time, Jarrell Smith walked the cases were too weak. Witnesses were afraid to come forward. No one wanted to take the chance of snitching on a dangerous man who will most likely be sprung in a few weeks. Or they were sticking to the law of the streets. It started in the streets. It ends in the streets. This cat, he was on a notorious level like something that's not in the paper, which is a rumor. Who knows if it's true? It got back to us that Smith, AKA Jigger, killed five people in one house. Four or five, I'm not mistaken, it was four or five. This was on the street in the east. I'm not gonna mention the neighborhood. And when we first heard that, we was like, damn, how the hell he did that? This is just stuff that was surfacing back then. And it's a lot more other things that I would not say, but this Cat Jigger, man, he was, he had a long run of excessive violence. On November 26, 2003, Jarrell Jigger Smith was accused of the murder of Soldier Slim, real name James Tapp. Police alleged in 2003 he was paid $10,000 for the hit. Soldier Slim was shot four times, three in the face and once in the chest, on the front lawn of the home of his mother and stepfather. In the Gentilly, witnesses didn't show up, people, that was going to testify changed their mind and the Soldier Slim case fell apart. In August 2011, there in the 3500 block of Hamburg Street, 
Lady Jewel Jigga Smith, 29, dead of gunshot wounds to his head and chest. At the time, he had four separate cases hanging over his head when he died. His most recent arrest, June 26, when police allegedly caught him with a gun and a bag of marijuana. He was scheduled to appear in court later that week for arraignment, but we all know what happened. You know, people say this about Soldier Slim. People say that, you know, they have rumors about him. But let me tell you something, man. I didn't know him personally. But New Orleans is a small city. And um, we ran across each other many times, especially in the music industry. I can say this about Tap, Mr. Tap, Soldier Slim. Every time I seen him, he used to smile. He was joking, laughing, joking for those who don't know, ribbing. He always seemed to be having fun. I guess he was living his life because, you know, to us, he was the New Orleans Tupac. You know, I heard stuff about him firsthand. I had the same relationship with Big Reed inside, for those who know. But like I said, all around good cat, all around good dude. And like I said before, he was New Orleans Tupac, official, certified. Everyone, let me tell you something. When you have a city that have a lot of hatred, crabs in the buckets because they do they have some real dudes but they still have crabs in the buckets but you have the majority of the city that wanted him to make it i can tell you that they wanted him to be the next thing coming because he was from new orleans and he was certified official you know to people that was in the hip-hop to the street so they wanted him to make it and when he was killed it was it was you know it was devastating to a lot of people now let me give you two. So one, I have to say this. Back then, I was another dude. Matter of fact, for those who don't recognize me, you if I show you an old picture, I had long braids, you know, stuff like that. I was I was out there. It was an OPP. Still in the holding tier. Me friend of mine named Big Marty out the goose well you know what yeah I already said his name <laughs> well Marty he had cigarettes you know I guess before you go upstairs you know they don't too much really search it deep for cigarettes he had cigarettes on him whatever you know soldier kept borrowing cigarettes from him so when I wanted to smoke one, he ain't had that many left. I said, man, what happened to the pack you had? Man, Soldier asked me a few times. I said, man, stop giving Soldier Slim your I stopped giving Soldier Slim your cigarettes, man. What's wrong with you? You need that. You know what I'm saying? That's one story. Another one. Matter of fact, well, we used to always see each other at. A lot of people back then, after the club, whatever, you go eat at Anita's Bar and Grill on Tulane. Well, this time, this not after a club. I'm trying to slide little side piece I was with. Are we sitting right? I'm facing. Soldier sitting, like facing outward on the boot. He's by himself. I'm with the chick. She one of them little freaks, you know. She gets down, something drop. She bend over, pick it up. You can see a G-string or whatever. I didn't know it at the time, but dudes behind me was trying to get at her while I was there. Now, I guarantee you, like I said, I'm trying to slide. It's not my main old lady, but respect is respect. I didn't know it at the time. I'm noticing she's saying, stop it, don't do that. I'm noticing she said that, like, what the hell is she talking about? I didn't know she was talking about some dudes behind me. Two of them. Soldier was, I'm facing him, he behind her. He was just chilling. I don't know if he was going through something, but he was hanging out on the, you know, the side of the boot, just doing like that. 
not the it, whatever you call it. It's like one of them tables, the boots, whatever. And um, he looked at me and he gave me a signal like, as you could tell, he was disgusted too, like these dudes on some fake, you know, whatever. I don't know. And when he did that, I looked at the corner of my eye and saw what was happening. And the story stops there. But the moral of it is, well, all what I'm telling stops there. The moral of it is, soldier, you know, he was he was a stand-up dude, man. He didn't have to put me on to that because they was behind my back with the foolishness. She wasn't telling me. She was trying to brush it off, but at the same time liking it. Well, you know, skip past what happened afterwards. I still took her to the hotel and smash, but Soldier's a real dude, man. He missed. And all this stuff here I'm talking about, police reports, alleged. I had people that wanted to come on and tell a story about, you know, Soldier Slim or even Jigger. But I'd rather leave that in the comments. I'd rather go by what written, referenced, and keep it pushing. Tune in the next time. Like, subscribe so you can get the notifications. I'm going to try to do it every week for you all. One love.